Black Ops 6 Terminus Easter Egg. Let's go. My operator of choice is going to be Mayo with the Trophy Collector skin. And in terms of my loadout, this does not matter much. And you'll see why in a few moments. But, you know, if you want to copy this, I mean, I, I guess you can. It's the PP919 with these attachments here. Also going to be rocking Frenzied Guard, uh, Frag Grenade, Concussions. I'll be using the knife as my melee weapon. Uh, I won't be using any gobble gum, so there's that. But, uh, yeah, you know, literally none of this stuff on my loadout is going to matter. So, like I said, like, you can copy this stuff if you want. But literally all of it is going to be gone within, like, 10 minutes of us playing. Now, here's... Here's one fun thing that I have not found out or tested yet by any means. Uh, I don't know if your zombie builds actually stick around after you prestige, so Ooh, that'll that'll be a funny thing. I, I probably should have tested this, uh, tested that before trying to do this. But anyway, similar to my Liberty Falls Easter egg, we're gonna keep it pretty light on the edits here. Uh, so first things first, we're gonna be powering up the amp. I also noticed that this map is way darker. Than Liberty Falls, obviously, but, um, you know, because normally when I turn up my monitor brightness to play games, I turn it up to, like, 10. But I might need to turn it up to, like, 15 or 20 for this map in particular. Anyway, there it is. We got the first amp on. Uh, I also already messed up. I was supposed to turn on the Rampage Inducer just to speed things up. Moment of truth. Ah, uh, does it? Does it count? Does it? Does it transfer over? Where's my gun? Is it gonna load in? I guess it's not gonna load in. Okay, we'll switch back to the PP919 until it decides to load in. Okay, there it is. Yep, yay! Everything stuck around. There's my uh, charms dangling off the side with the little uh, Mr. Peaks headphones. So thankfully they do transfer over. But anyway, there we go. Blaze through the first few rounds. We should have been going faster than this. I um forgot to turn on the rampage inducer right off the rip as I was supposed to. Trigger those spawns. Get the loose change. Get some more zombies spawning in. Hone in on the head. Lucky double points. Like, that. that is a very lucky double points. Let's go ahead and get that. Um, unlike my Liberty Falls one where I tried to turn that into a guide, I'm not even going to try to do a guide with this one. I honed in really hard on, like, trying to make that Liberty Falls one be, like, something where you could follow along. Wasn't my forte, clearly. So I'm not, I'm not even going to try this time. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and kill these zombies. Also, I apologize if there's going to be, like, some moments where I go kind of, like, dead on you guys, like, in terms of commentary. Oh. That is unlucky. That is very unlucky. It is okay, though. It, it won't matter by the time that we go to the boss fight. Go ahead and use these for a minute. do 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 Basically, we just got to stick around and spawn here until about round five, which is now. Should be a vermin round. And if it's not this round, then it'll be next round. All right, this won't be the vermin round. We're also going to go ahead and uh, grab Quick Revive right off the rip. Because it's a perk we're going to need later on anyway. So might as well just get it out of the way. Actually, uh, no, never mind. I was going to go back to grab that XM4, but I don't really need it. Maybe, maybe I should buy some ammo, though. How much is that? 250 Just to be safe. Just to be safe, because our uh, GS45s are already pretty low. Keep them off the generator. Some of the best zombies maps of all time feature generators. Origins. Uh, drawing a blank here. All right, we might actually fail the same generator. We got a lot of zombies spawning in. Oh, well, actually, maybe not. Oh, actually, maybe so. Ah? Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, we did it. Okay. Uh, I wasn't sure for a minute. I was like, okay, we might fail this. We might not. Anyway, now we just kind of go ahead and keep flying through the rounds here. Not in a particular rush to get down there just yet. Was that max armor? Every time you hear max, you hope it's going to be max ammo. It's always max armor, I tell you. Knock these guys out. Beautiful. Now we're on to round six. Or, no, we will be. Thank you. And down we go. All right, we have enough for dead wire, which is really all I needed at the moment, or all I was working towards at the moment. There is a zombie be uh, behind this wall, but we're going to... Can we... Yeah, yeah, we should have enough money to turn on this last generator. So we'll keep running along, open this door, run past these zombies, get the generator on by round five. 
Like I said, uh, most times, like, I don't, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend buying Quick Revive first. I just did it so then we have increased regen health speed because that'll be very important until we can afford PhD considering the fact that we'll be using explosive weapons. Uh, just being able to regen our health faster is going to be really helpful. So that should take us to round six right there. I think we just killed the last zombie of the round. There it is. And this will be a vermin round, so that'll give us a good max ammo. At least it should be a vermin round. If this ain't a vermin round, I'll be surprised. It means it'll be a round seven. I guess we're going to have a round seven vermin round. Okay. That's surprising. I don't know. I don't think I've ever experienced that yet. Wow. Yeah, it is a zombie round. Okay. Interesting. I've literally never seen that. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead, hit this, uh, get our dead wire going right off the rip. One unlucky thing. I, yeah, I won't be able to get the, uh, Shadow Rift Ammo mod, which is usually what I use for the GS-45, but not essential. It's just something that really helps. Maybe we'll get lucky and have a Mangler drop it or something. Oh, I already made a mistake. I've made a couple mistakes already. I didn't have enough ammo for that. What was I doing? All right, that's fine. We'll just have to call down the lift again. Let's slow our progress a bit, but honestly, at this point, it's not a huge deal. Right now, I need to save up for uh, pack punch as is anyway. Cooling down. Oh, that's right. There's a really long cooldown on that, isn't there? E. Well, I suppose we can kill time for a minute. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill you. Kill you. I guess we'll go back up the way we came. Uh, Yeah, no, it's not really possible to do that in reverse order, is it? Okay, so we're just going to need to wait a minute. So while we do that, we could actually trigger another Easter egg. Which will be helpful for us in a bit. Depending on how it goes. Uh, no, it's not over here. So we got to run all the way over here. We're going to do the free perk Easter egg. I made a few slip-ups. It's not necessarily the pressure from recording, because, you know, obviously I don't feel pressured when I record, but, uh... I guess just just slipping in the moment. It's okay, though. Kill these guys, kill that guy. And there should be... And it, this is also a good way to get free points, so if anything... This will just kind of help us out one way or another. So you got these guys... Eww. Ouchie. I don't want to use my first dying wish already. I don't think so. Yeah, these parasites are going to be, uh... They start to bug me after a bit. Pun intended. Alright, now i got to see. Is there any zombies left up here? I think there was one that we didn't get to kill entirely. Maybe not. No? Okay. Picking up the salvage. We're going to need to get our GS-45 up to a rare then. Alright, now I don't want to flip the round if I can help it. Let's go back and see if this is ready. Eight seconds. Look at look at our timing. Wow, that was actually really good timing. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We're going to go ahead and call this back down. Thank you. Also go ahead and... Ooh, should I buy more ammo? Yeah, just to be safe. Also, just want to make sure all these zombies are 100% dead. So we can get our free perk. Okay, yeah, they're dead. So we'll need to come back down here then. There we go. That's back down here. So I have made a few upsy daisies so far. We had our first down. Accidentally used the left when I didn't have ammo. <laughs> so we'll be set back by a round or two, but that's all right. No biggie. A few lucky double points will set us straight back up. Like that. I gotta come down here. I shouldn't have used that armor plate. Doesn't really matter though. Like that. Now boom. Come in here, shoot this guy. This is the thing that I wanted to do before we really got too far ahead of ourselves. here. Spooky noises. Open up this. Got the multi-phasic resonator. 
And that'll spawn a bunch of bugs, which is good for us, because that means more money. And we need money. In Mr. Krabs mode right now. There we go. Almost have enough for uh, Pack Punch already. Which, that's why I like to do this right before I do the Resonator. Because as soon as we kill the zombie, we're basically going to have enough. We'll be slightly off. But... Which we would have had enough exactly right now if it wasn't for the fact that uh, I bought, what was it? Oh, the, the lift. That's what it was, yeah. But anyway, we're going to come up here, hit this once. And we're going to come over here. Run past Pack-a-Punch. Run up here. Hit that. Now we're going to come over here. Do, 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 do. I could have went the other way, but... Whatever. No ammo. We'll fix that before too long. Right over here. We're also going to grab some more money while we're down here. You ready? Ultimate dolphin dive! Yeah, loose change. We're also going to grab the shovel. Because that'll come in handy later for giving us some free salvage. Bug out. And turn on the last computer. Now we're going to come over here. And do a full loop-de-loop, -loop, since this would be the quickest way to get back to where we just were, basically. Uh, did I, did I lay in front of this yet? I did not. Take advantage of all the free money you can, because with all the park machines around the map, that money does add up. So now we come back here, and there's... So there's a bit of math involved here. Okay, so you look at... Oh, gosh. <laughs> everything was still loading in. So we got... Our X, Y, and Z. I'm not going to explain how to do this. <laughs> Just because I don't even know how to go about... Oh, wow. It's actually really hard to see the, uh, the the board from here. Okay, so... I guess that's just something due to my graphic settings. But okay, the first number is 22. And then we have 0. And then 21. So that would be... Oh, gosh. Okay, so that's 2X plus 11. So what did I say that that was? That was 22. So 2 times 22 would be 44 plus 11, which would be 55. And then our next number is going to be really trying to look at this here. Uh, 2 times Z, which would be uh, our Z is what? 21. So that'd be 42 plus Y, which is 0. So uh, wait, what did I just say? The number? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to do that again. Okay, Z. So Z is 21. 42 plus 0 minus 5 would be 37. And then our last number, really struggling to see the numbers here. 0 plus Z, which again is 21, minus X which is 22, which means our number is 1. Because the bars on either side means that it will always be a positive number. So there we go. <laughs> normally, normally I'm able to solve that a bit faster, but I was, like, struggling so hard to read the equations. Like, I already know what the equations are, but just, like, not being able to read it was just making it so much harder to, get to, uh, to actually do that. But, um... Yeah, okay, so now we just kind of got to wait. That, that's really all there is to this. We just got to wait for this to be done. So. Ah, there. There's the vermin round. Uh, we're going to pack punch this round, too. And then once the um the resonator's done, we're going to grab Jug before we go to build the... Whatchamacallit. The Beam Smasher. Sorry, my, my brain's all... I'm just, like, micromanaging all the Easter egg stuff in my head right now. Excuse me. Please don't tell me you're the last bug. Because this thing's going to move. I'm calling it. No? Okay. I was worried it was about to move, but it seems like we're all right. <laughs> I just really didn't want it to move. Okay, so it didn't it didn't do its thing yet, which means it might not be a bad idea for us to do the same trial then. Hit fire. Oh, hit fire. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Even if it only gives us a bit of salvage and points, I mean, even that'll be enough to like benefit us. So the fact that it spawned in right there when it did, in fact, I'm just gonna use these for a bit. There we go, enough to pack punch. And now and now Super Speed! Yeah. Well, not super speed, but super death. Super speed in terms of speeding up this process, but also just like, you know. Death. Destruction. Explosions. Oh, it feels so good. 
This may not be my Mustang at Sally, but it's still Sally in fourth. And half of that still sounds like the original name of Mustang at Sally, so I'll take it. All right, let's see if it's anything good. Okay, okay, dead wire. That will actually be useful. There it is. Gonna get that up to a rare. So then we'll grab that. Now we'll make our way down over here. Uh, actually, no, we're not yet. Get beamed. Get beamed. And then we get jug. Now we're off. We're off to see the resonator. The wonderful resonator of Terminus. I'm just kidding. We already had the resonator. We're off to see the orbs. But orbs doesn't have enough uh, syllables. We're off to see the orbs. The oi orbs. The wonderful oi orbs of Terminus. I don't even know what I'm saying, dude. It's like 7 in the morning. I'm sorry. I've been up since 4. I mean, I wake up at 4 every morning as is, but you know what I mean. It's just... It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. All right. Um. Oh, the controls are different on PC. I was really confused. Yeah, see, on console when I play, it's the uh, RT and LT to reverse and whatnot. But on here, it's the left stick. Interesting. Anyway, I'm come over here. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. I have been, um, what's the word called? When your um, ship goes on land? I don't know what that word is. Yeah, there you go. Zap the zombie. They drop that. Ooh. Every time that I do this step, it reminds me of Bioshock. Man, I gotta replay Bioshock at some point. It's been a couple years since I've replayed that game. It's so good, man. One of the best games of all time. Would you kindly? One of the one of the best twists ever as well. Right up there with the cake is a lie. Portal's another one I gotta replay at some point. Portal 1 and 2 are both so good. It, it always, like... Shoot, I, I want to talk about Portal 2, but I don't want to, like, spoil the game for anybody. I'll just say that, like, I love the robot's accent in that game. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't even know what the accent is. Is it British? I don't even think it's... Maybe it's British? I don't know. I've always loved it, though. The ending to that game is, like, surprisingly epic, too. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, let's come up here and drop that down. Valve, please give us Portal 3. I would do anything for a Portal 3, man. <laughs> and please don't do what you did with Half-Life and make it a VR game. Not that there's anything wrong with VR. I just can't play VR because it makes me too sick. Like, I just physically can't do it. But anyway, um... Let's see. Okay, yeah, I'll take these guys out. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing fine. Uh, my Frenzy Guard is ready, so it might not be a bad idea to use that here soon. Not because I'm in danger of dying, but rather because um, my armor. That should be it for that one. Do, 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 do. Off you go. Grab the multiphasic resonator and off to... Oh, my bow's over here. Saw we. I'm in the boat. Off I go. Whoa, you see that though? Whoa! If you, if you look at a certain angle, apparently the whole island just disappears. I'm here and then I'm not. Where'd I go? The world may never know. It is the magical island. So peaceful. So peaceful. Sailing the seas of Terminus Island where a kraken that shoots mystical poisonous goo at any moment that'll follow you and kill you. Gotta love it. Now we have the shovel, and why I was talking about it being essential before is because when you come to this island, uh, there should be some big spots around. Now, I want to take out these parasites first because they're really bugging me. Pun intended once more. Where's where's the big spots? Should be at least one big spot. Yeah, there's a shovel there, but... Alright, never mind. Never mind. Make me look like a dummy. The one time, there's been dig spots every time that I've done this Easter egg. Every time that I've built this wonder weapon. But not this time. Alright, there we go. Oh, I, th I think I shot the bullet. My bad bullet. Okay, there we go. Uh, take a oh, I'm low on ammo. That is not good. Oh, oh. 
Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> Use frenzy guard. Okay, see, we are we are we are in question we are in a questionable position here, folks. See, I have just been playing this way too risky. I gotta calm down. I don't wanna grab that orb yet. I wanna buy more ammo. That's what I wanna do. Yeah, so now we're gonna have to buy another quick revive. That, yeah, there's a lot of things happening that's gonna slow our progress in the end, but that's okay. You know, we're chilling, we're good. Like even when these things happen, I'm not I'm not even worried. Like, sure these things happen, sure they're gonna slow us down a bit, but the end result should be the same. Hey, and hey, if we fail this Easter egg, at least we'll have a funny video to laugh at. Finally. Not because I did anything funny, but just because I died. After after being so confident. Ooh. Speaking of dying, my boat. <laughs> It's holding on for dear life. I definitely shot it a few times. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. There's actually a sand trial over here. I kind of want to do it. Could help. It won't take too long, and it could give us a good bonus. Grab a salvage. Alright. You better give me something good. Stand still. Of all the challenges you could have given me to help me speed up this Easter egg, you give me stand still. Oh wait, oh it kills zombies while standing still. I'm sorry. I was, I was about to stay, say like, do I really just need to stand here for two minutes? Double points. Yes. Unleash the fury. While the while the double points is active. Okay, move and then stand still. Come on, do this fast. Because we should get money for, like, completing the thing, and then there should be, like, points inside, which would be doubled. That would help so much to make up for the quick revive that I lost. Okay, okay, okay. We, we got we got some more monies. Okay, I got, I, got, I got, like, three seconds left. Come on, don't mess with me. Yes, that should give us extra money, I hope. Whee! All right, that should have given us some extra money, uh, so cool. We also have enough money for another self-revive to make up for my mistakes. Sweet. So now we can come up here. Actually, while I have the extra money, I'm gonna buy that. I was gonna buy it anyway, so it works out. Deadwire. Aren't the amalgams weak to Deadwire, or is that another thing I'm thinking of? I hope it's Deadwire. <laughs> Way to have a heart peck. Oh well, she's dead, we're not. <laughs> what a goober. What a goober. Alright, so now we gotta do these tentacle traps, which I'm trying to be careful, because I, like, don't want the zombies to be, like, near it. Because then the trap will kill them. That's not good. I don't want that. We want to be the one killing the zombies, and we get more money. Let's see, do we get lucky this time? Shoot the mouth. Aha! We were lucky. This saves time. I'm not necessarily going for a speed run right now, but time saved is time saved. You know, a penny saved is a penny earned. A second saved is a second or Not really. Our time on this earth is limited. We all die the same way anyway. That was deep. <laughs> I need sleep, bro. <laughs> I need sleep. Okay, now we're ready for the boss fight. Are we, though? Are we, though? Well, not the boss fight, but a boss fight. So, let's see. Oh, gosh. I think that's a four. I can't even see it. Because, like, the resolution settings, I, I guess they're just a little too low. But that's that should be four. <laughs> I couldn't even see. I saw the minute hand. I don't even know if that was... Loaded in enough to show the other hand. Oh, gosh. Is that supposed to be eight? I don't know. I can't even see it. Four, eight. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Four, eight, one. Okay, at least I can see that one. But, like... Dude, the other ones were so low. Four, eight, one. Is that it? I hope. I need to look at the clock again. I'm confident enough about the card, but I need to look at the clock. I couldn't even see the uh, hour hand. Like, I saw the minute hand, but... That hour hand was just like, 
Is that, oh no, I think the hour hand is, oh no, the hour hand, is it? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I can't see it, bro. Oh, hold up, hold up a minute. I need to go into the graphics, quality, um, texture resolution. Put that up to normal, dude. Like, this is, I, I don't care what this does to, like, anything right now. I just need to be able to, see... oh, I can't even see it. Oh my goodness, I hope that's four, dude. I really hope that's four. Oh, uh, we're gonna put that back to low. Yeah, that's fine. But like, oh, okay, 481? Maybe, is it FSR that does that? Dying on my watch. I have no idea, dude. Wow. That was some terrible quality. That was bad. <laughs> I'm just making sure I'm not too low in the face cam. Sometimes that happens when I'm recording. I like sync low, but I think I'm fine. Worst comes to worst right now, like, maybe we get to the boss fight and I die or something. <laughs> We've had some unlucky things this hap happen this game, and I'm just thinking, like, worst case scenarios right now, and that's probably, like, the worst case scenario. Well, that's just good, clean fun, isn't it? I'm in so much pain. Every muscle in my body hurts. The scary thing is that me and this dude have the same name. My name is Nathan. Oh, thank God. Okay, yeah, I, w I was pretty sh confident in saying that that one thing was the hour hand. Thank goodness I was right, dude. Anyway, um, yeah, so now it's boss fight time. Uh, I don't, I don't have that much ammo, do I? Yeah, that kind of sucks. I'm gonna need to buy some more. Come on. Alt with it, man. Speaking of ammo. Exactly what I needed. Uh, my frenzy guard is ready too if we need it at a minute's notice. Minutes notice? Moments notice. Is he weak to dead? Amalgams are weak to dead wire. I thought they were only, or like, I, I like, I knew that, oh gosh. What was the one thing I was thinking of? I thought it was the vermins that were weak to um, dead wire. I didn't know that he is too. Is, does that mean that the final boss will be too? Cause I know he uh, he's weak to shadow damage in his final phase, which is why I wanted that one. But if he's weak to uh, Deadwire too, that would be really nice. So basically, the tricky part about this, and it's not even necessarily tricky, I uh, just need to really focus fire because he can like regen health off of the zombies, which, you know, if you've played the map enough to just fight normal amalgams, you probably already know that. But yeah, see, he like sucks him up right there if you saw that off in the distance. There we go, so he's almost dead already. Not a big deal. Even if he does regen health right now, not a biggie. Uh, we just need to go ahead and buy some more ammo real quick which is literally the last of what we have, so make these count. Go ahead and pop Frenzy Guard, just so we can really focus fire on him. There we go. A few more shots, and there it is. There's the boss. Well, the mini boss. <laughs> we're, we're like halfway there. Halfway there. Wow! Living on a... <laughs> I only make myself laugh. I don't make anybody else laugh, but that's okay. As long as you're happy in life and you can make yourself happy, you're good. That's all that matters, man. Nah. Like Metallica once said, man, nothing else matters. I'm gonna die! I need it! Oh, there's the fish. You wanna see something cool? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, if you explode them, you can like get free punts and stuff, but it didn't happen. Oh, we got the key card. Sweet. All right, so now we need 500 points. If there isn't a bullet here, please tell me there's a bullet. Please tell me there's a bullet. There's not a bullet. There's no bullet. I just wanted a boat, man. All right. Man in Macchiato. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, there's my boat. Yes. I have enough money for the boat. Yes. We are free. I am leaving this place for now. I'll be back soon. I'll have to defuse a bomb. Bombs give me PTSD, man. <laughs> Bombs are scary, bro. <laughs> I'm like high off of sleep deprivation. I swear, anybody that knows me in real life knows I don't drink, I don't smoke. The most I'll do is a Coca-Cola, bro. I am stone cold sober. This is just me when I'm tired. I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 6. I mean a lot of Black Ops 6. 
All right, so this part isn't that bad. Really, the key to it is just to, like, hit him with the paralyzer effect, what I call it. Oh, you hit him with that and you're good, dude. Yeah, just hit him with that. Slow him, slow him down a little bit. Reload when you got him in it. Run around in circles. You know why they call it the Beam Smasher? I don't know, I'm asking you. Alright. Lord. This will last for however long it takes you to kill the zombies, really. And then we're almost done with the Easter egg. <laughs> Believe it or not. So really, it'll just come down to how well I do during the boss. If we die, well, that's it. We're dead. And that'll be the video. I don't care. Actually, I do care. I really care. You guys don't understand how much I care, actually. I really want to do this. <laughs> I just want, like, the video of us doing it. But even if I don't do it, it'll be fine. Uh, okay, come down here. Do, 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 do. Also, I just realized that I was skipping the cutscenes and all that, so I apologize. I'm just trying to get a video of me doing the Easter egg. I did it for Liberty Falls. Might as well do it here, too. That is the first time that it's happened to me. Every single time that I've come to do this, there has never been a node here. But this is the one time where there's actually a node there. Which kind of sucks. Critical damage. Why? Why you do this to me, zombie? You break my boat? I'll break your face. Like a beam. I'll smash it. Like I'd smash a beam. With the beam smasher. All right. If you're wondering why I'm walking, I can't help it, by the way. When you're carrying a node... <laughs> Never mind, I can't say that. I, I, I was about to say something really bad. Okay. There it is. There's the mangler. Coming to mangle my face. You're cute. You're cutie. You're cutie. I ain't scared of you. We should get PhD here soon. A PhD. I definitely never get one of those in real life. I didn't even finish high school. Not that I'm bragging about that. That's not something to brag about. Stay in school, kids, seriously. Or else you end up like me. A full time YouTuber <laughs> doing your dream job happier than you've ever been. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. school's kind of not, I don't know. Stay in school, but like if you find a solid backup plan, do what you gotta do. But stay in school, seriously. Like, jokes aside, like, 100%. But, I mean, at the same time, you know, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> so. I'm actually better than I probably would have been if I stayed in school, if I'm going to be honest. But, hey, there's extra two years that I didn't do in school. Because I, my last fully completed year really was, like, sophomore year. Kind of technically completed junior year, but barely. Uh, but, uh, yeah, those last two years, I just went all in on, like, YouTube and other things, and it all worked out. Oh, yes, there's, uh, there's a gas cloud right there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for that to go away. That gas cloud does take a while. It can really be a hindrance sometimes, because, like, you're trying to do something, and then it's like, oh, no, we're not gonna let you do that thing, and then, like... Yeah, so now I'm gonna hop in the boat, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go. This time we're actually going to take the boat, like, under, uh, down here. <laughs> under, under down here. There we go. Because I need to go to the speed cola tunnel, so this works. Ow! Stop hitting me! I did nothing to you. But I will, if I must. Don't tempt me. Alright. I keep forgetting about that vermin easter egg we were going to do earlier. Ooh, Sam Charles over here. If it isn't too tedious, incline lift. I gotta kill 30 zombies from the lift. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I spent the money, but... 
Okay, well, we, I mean, we do need to go to the guard tower anyway, don't we? Ugh. We have to kill. I'm just trying to hoard him up for a minute, if you're wondering what I'm doing. How many was that? Not enough. And see, this challenge is tricky, dude. Alright. Need to go to the guard station anyway, like I was saying, so it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and craft up, uh, two decoys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no more, there's no way any more zombies are gonna spawn in time, so. We'll get whatever we get from that. I'm gonna craft up a self-res. If it'll let me. There we go, self-revive. Ah! Ah! That sucks. Okay. That's fine. Not really. <laughs> okay, this kinda sucks. Concussion? No. I don't know. Let's hope one of the zombies, like, drops what I need. Because I just prestiged a bit ago before recording this, so... Okay. Yeah, as realistically, I would have liked to have had either decoys or monkey bombs before doing this. Because after this stuff, we'll be on to the boss fight. Okay, so I need exactly 3,500 points right now to get PhD. We need that before this next stub. So, I'm gonna grab the hacking device a while, but... I'm coming for that PhD. Maybe I'm finishing college after all. <laughs> Maybe I'll finish high school. Just kidding. Ugh. Ugh. We were just short. Just short of the amount of money I needed. Oh, is that a new Sam trial? You know what? We're going to do it. Normally, I never go these ham on the Sam trials, but... Void cannon trap, Sam trial. Oh, does that mean my rewards from before went bye bye? Oh, I hope not. That would kind of suck. All right, so now we're gonna hoard him up for a minute. This could help. This could actually really help, depending on what it gives us. Let's get a let's get a head count here. One, two, three. Eh, yeah, it's getting close. What do you say? This this look like thirty zombies? I can't tell. I may be Asian, but I can't count that fast. Yeah, that, 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 oh, yeah, it's definitely 30. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even going to mess around. That's definitely 30. All right. Come on. There it is. Show me the money. A Casimir. Perfect. See, it was worth it. Perfect. That is actually amazing. Okay. So now, let me go ahead and buy PhD. Right. Where's the lab? Now we're going to come out here. Okay, yeah, I still got that Casimir. Got to self revive. I'm trying to think of what else I should buy, if anything. I think we're good for now. Yeah, this this is uh kind of basically the end game here. Ooh, if I get my weapon up to like epic rarity before we go into the boss though, that'd be pretty tight. I'm just trying to get in there, but like round 15, 16, like I said, we'll see what happens when we're actually in there. Anything could happen really. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I kind of went the wrong way here. That's all right though. No biggie. I would just like to make sure we're kind of like in the right, uh, right wavelength, like right, uh, wavelength. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about like hacking, like signals when I said that, um, what, what's it called, like right path, sorry. 
Alright, so yeah, this should be where I'm looking to go. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Let me let me get rid of some of these guys first. I, I was a little confident there. A little overconfident. There we go. That's better. Yeah, because once you, like... Oh, my boat's getting away. Good luck with your little plot. Salvation 13, I said hello. Oh, he'll say hello to you first, ma'am. Sorry if you keep seeing me, like, glance at the camera. I'm just, like, frantically looking at it just to make sure it's still recording, because with how long I've been recording, I'd hate to lose footage. Uh, but also, like, sometimes my camera has a habit of, like, running out of storage mid-recording, so I'm just making sure it's still good since it's been a little bit. But we're all good. I think I have about, like, 15 minutes left of, like, storage on my phone. Or, no, I should have, like, 15 or 20, so. We'll, we'll be done with the Easter egg by then. I just want to make sure my phone won't run out. I really just got to get, like, an actual camera so I can stop worrying about that. I want to get, like, a, either, like, a webcam or just, like, a, you know, like, ideally, like, an actual camera that I can put up above my monitor. Or, you know, just, like, right there so it's, like, aiming down at me. Get, like, a ring light behind it and get, like, a good, you know, however many hundred gigabyte SD card just kind of slot inside of it. That'd be nice. Um, you know, within time. Within time, I'll be able to afford something like that. But that would be the ideal thing, so I don't got to worry about storage all the time. Because I always have to, like, right before I go to record videos, which is every day, um, you know, I have to, like, delete apps off my phone or <laughs> clear out the caches for certain apps, and it just kind of gets to be a bit much, but is what it is. It's what you get for buying a cheap knockoff phone, I suppose. Where? Are you? Oh, you're right there. Little bugger. Alright. Act the final one with just a few seconds to spare. Hopefully, my boat didn't explode. Thank goodness. I was worried. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Alright, now we're on to the, um... The part that can result in a game over if you're not careful, so... All right, now a lot of people overstate like this part in general. Like it's really not that bad. Just gotta be careful. Okay, so I have a little strategy here, which you guys will kind of pick up on as we go. You hit one for a bit, you go to the next. Simple as that. The Casimir is going to come in handy once we get to get towards the end of this. But like right here, once we start to get hit, then you back off. Just, just run the whole rigmarole. Go in circles. Ooh. They're piling up a bit faster here. Sorry. Go to the next one. We've still got four minutes. Like I said, a lot of people overstate how hard this part is. They'll be like, oh, you need to craft all these decoys. No, you don't. Is this the most time efficient way to do it? No, of course not. Does it work? Yeah. Yeah, like, see right here, this would be a bit tricky because there's, like, a lot of zombies right behind me, but... Tank it. There we go. There's one. Come on, zombies. You want them to, like, kind of come up this way if you can help it. Hit this one for a minute. We don't... Yeah, we don't have enough, uh, too much time on that one. Just because there was a lot of zombies behind me before I even went to do it. Hit this one. I want to shoot these guys so I can get some more salvage so we can maybe upgrade our weapon again before we go into the boss. Since zombie spawns are essentially infinite here. Oh, there's the amalgam. Gotta watch out for that, lad. Go ahead and pop the frenzy guard. 
Get these guys out of our way. Again, just trying to get our salvage up a little bit if I can help it. That should almost be enough. There it is. There's our final piece of salvage that we need. Now we can go hit the last uh, detonator. Which is right over here. We're, get, we're just going to face tank it. If we can. There it is. Yeah, we did. I didn't mean to throw that grenade. Alright. So, now we're ready for the boss, so we're just gonna go straight for it. Uh, let me see. I got a Casimir. My Frenzy Guard is not ready, but... Everything else looks to be in order. Uh, now we got the intro cutscene. Yeah, and if you want if you want to watch all this stuff, you know, I mean it really realistically like sure I could let the cutscenes play out But there's also so much important dialogue that plays just as you're doing the Easter egg that we've been kind of technically missing out on just because I've been like talking so much and So if anything, I, I'd recommend just kind of doing this on your own or looking up that stuff Otherwise, you can hear the whole experience But basically how you want to do this boss fight is just like a souls boss Where you prioritize your life do what you can but ultimately just make sure you're staying alive Above anything else. Don't worry about damaging the boss. Damage him when you can. Otherwise, uh, also use the entire arena. Like, don't just hang out back there the whole time. Make sure you're moving around. And you'll be fine. The boss is going to move around too. But as you can see, like, we've barely been in here for, eight, like, even any amount of time. And we've already made some damage. Uh, again, I would have liked to have had shadow damage on my weapons before coming in here. So then we could have done more damage to his third phase. Which his third phase is the only part that you really got to be worried about. But since we have a self-revive, I have a little ace up my sleeve, which should help us. We'll see how it goes, though. Yeah, he's sort of do the thing. He's going to do another slam. Never be in the middle there when he's doing the slam, of course. He's going to get ready to do another one. And just stay out of the way. You'll be fine. Again, this isn't necessarily a god by any means, but... few helper pointers here and there. There we go. First phase done. Yeah, hurt, didn't it? Damn right you better slither away. Not to put your party, but I fear its retreat may prove temporary. Some say an animal's more dangerous wounded. I say it's easy to kill. So again, at this point, anything could technically go wrong. If it does, boo-hoo. We did our best, but should be fine. I'm really not worried. You also gotta worry, or you also gotta watch out for them, uh, you know, the parasite buggers as always. They're really, surprisingly, they're gonna be your biggest threat. Don't worry about the uh, tank tentacles out in the water, by the way, either. They're just not worth the time. Just worry about the enemies in your face. Take out the parasites. Symbol is up. I'm switch back to these for a bit. All right, now his weak spot is going to be his mouth. Wait for him to do his thing. Going to run out and grab the max ammo. Shoot into his mouth a bit. Big slam. Come on. Yeah, you, sh you might want to grab Speed Cola before coming in here, if I'm going to be honest. I didn't just because, well, obviously we had the one thing where I needed to buy Speed again. Or Quick Revive earlier, sorry. So uh, that kind of hurt my economy a bit. You also don't need to come in here as early as I did. Shit, I gotta dive. Sorry, excuse my language. Alright, so he did another slam right there. Gonna buy some more ammo while he's doing his thing. Okay, now this part, it's not tricky, but... Come on. Yeah, you gotta hit those things. Hit 
him from afar. He's gonna do a slam. Low on ammo, so might as well. Deadwire lets you damage him during this phase? I'm learning that for the first time, okay. See, normally when I have shadow damage, the only way I can really damage him is by shooting the weak points on his tentacles, as you, as you saw. Um, but it seems as though if you have dead wire, you don't even need to shoot those tentacles. You can just shoot his body and it'll still damage him. Okay. That's actually, that's actually really useful information for me. Don't get me wrong, the shadow damage boost during the last phase is huge, but that's almost enough to make me wonder if maybe I should just start rocking dead wire instead. Uh, fire damage also works against him too. Don't know if that's just like a first and second phase thing or if that affects the third phase too, but I know when I did it with the uh, ASG, fire damage works really well too. Oh, there's the amalgam. All right, yeah, I was expecting that. Which since we have dead wire damage. Both dead wire and shadow damage work beautifully for amalgams, just like that. Onto the third phase for too long. Not really sure where this guy's up. He should be popping up here like any second. There he is. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Literally any second. Okay, but now this is... Okay. Okay, so watch the screen for a minute. You're going to see. Oh, wait. He's not... He didn't do it yet. So... Okay. Uh... Kind of confused what's going on here. Oh, there it is. He's doing it. Okay. Basically, when your screen starts to have all the things going on at the corners like that, that means he's about to do a, a giant... Oh, there it is. Never mind. Now he's doing it. Yeah, if you're out there when he does that attack, you're screwed. So... Oh, that's not good. Thank goodness for Dying Wish. Holy. Oh, that's not good. But I'm not scared. You want to know why? This gives me time to cheese him. I'm gonna wait this out for a sec. Alright, now he's yellow again. I'm gonna go ahead and toss a Casimir. Now, the only unfortunate thing is that obviously I don't have PhD anymore, which kind of sucks for me. All right, he's getting ready to do his big attack. Did he do it? Yeah, he just did it. Ooh. Shoot, I really needed ammo. That's it. No, it's not. All right, there it is. Ball's dead. 
All right, we did it. Right there with you, pack. Oh, jeez. All right, there it is. Terminus Easter egg. Woo! <laughs> Proposal that I believe may interest you. I've heard that so many times, so that many times I completed this Easter egg now. But then obviously we get the final cutscene, it teases, you know, the next map, Richtofen also teases the fact that this is gonna tie in with the BO4 story, the chaos story, and Sentinel Artifact and all that, like I said, if you want to actually experience the story, I'd recommend just going and watching the cutscenes, listening to all the dialogue, doing the Easter egg for yourself. This video definitely wouldn't be the way to do it just because of how much I'm talking and commentating, how much is going on. This is more or less just getting my playthrough out there, so if you want to experience the story for yourself, I recommend going and doing it that way. But otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and get through that, skip through that, and then uh, we just exit out of this. But anyway, there it is. Got the, uh, both, now we got videos out for both the Liberty Falls and Terminus Easter eggs, and man, <laughs> Things got pretty tense by the end, but oh man, so much fun. This is one of my favorite Easter eggs in Zombies history, if I'm gonna be honest. It is so good, it is so much fun, and I cannot wait for the new map coming out in December. I don't even know how to say it properly. I castle the Moy, something like that, but yeah, man. Black Ops 6 Easter eggs. So far, they're amazing. I can't wait to see what Treyarch has next. But anyway, as always, massive shout out to the Patrons and channel members to get all the low ball tier and an even bigger shout out to the big ball tier, Malaski and Big Dad Manny, and the biggest shout out to the G tier, Run Events, and the Cheese Girl. Thank you guys so much, guys, for literal legends. I love you. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. Peace.